you guys so I was gonna start a slow cooker meal this morning and I forgot and it's two like 1 30 so I'm gonna hurry up get it in my slow cooker get it going so we have dinner because I didn't do it I didn't get my slow cooker meal um, for October up this morning at 5 a.m. because our well was out yesterday and we didn't have water and they had to fix it and all that fun stuff so I'm gonna share a video it'll just be late tonight on how I um, use a freezer meal in my slow cooker that isn't just like a dump and go type of thing so I'll show you guys that in my Croctober video that'll be up tonight but I'll kind of show you clips of it right now and yes you know my crazy glory because right now what's important is I'm getting these Halloween costumes done Okay guys, so if you missed my uh, Feeding My Freezer Challenge cooking day, I will pop a card so that you can see how I made this bacon cheeseburger meatloaf that has been in my freezer since August. Um, we were needing to cook it up because it was just kind of starting to get ice on it. I didn't wrap it too fantastically and had intended on eating it sooner, but it's just been hot and we've been pretty much smoking everything. But now we're having like rain and drizzle and possibility of a dusting of snow, so here we are. I'm just putting the frozen meatloaf, I had it in my fridge all night, but it's still completely frozen, in the bottom of my slow cooker, in the pan, and I'm putting about a cup of water into the crock pot around the pan, putting the lid on it, and I'm just going to turn it on high and let it cook for four hours. Okay, now that it's been four hours, my meatloaf is pretty much done. I'm mixing about three tablespoons of barbecue sauce, three tablespoons of ketchup, a teaspoon of onion powder, and some salt and pepper in a cup. And I'm just going to dump it all over the top, smooth it out with the spoon. And then we have to run to the store, so we'll be back in about 30 minutes and finish up dinner. And this will just get a chance for this to kind of cook and thicken and stick to the meat. Here it is all done. We are home and... Um, I'm going to take this out here in just a minute and cut it up and we are having some mashed potatoes also from my freezer cooking day. Um, I just added a little bit of milk and some butter and I'm going to let those warm up. I've got some string beans and then I also made some um, rolls with little Mr. James and some gravy. Uh, today is Tuesday. Woo. Can you close it? Yeah. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Dinner. That's the end of it right there. Thank you. Should I do it on? It's already on. We're just going to take it out. Okay, guys, so here is the finished meatloaf. I'm going to get it sliced up while the rolls are warming up, and we are going to have dinner. Um, to make my gravy, I just followed this one cup gravy recipe, but I did uh, the three spoonfuls with a cup of hot water and the three spoonfuls with a cup of milk and it just kind of made a creamier brown gravy. So, yeah, this is dinner tonight, and I was able to do everything else I needed to do because my slow cooker handled that for me, and I planned with my freezer cooking uh, stuff to make sure that we had a quick and easy dinner and I didn't have to last minute figure it out since I'm in the middle of sewing everybody's Halloween costumes and all that jazz. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys later.